our troop helped build these things last night, and it's been fun doing all the activities. Building it, I think, is the most fun. Yeah. I think it's, it's just teamwork is a lot of fun, working together with everybody in the troop. It's a lot of fun. We're building a lighthouse. Very cool. How long has it taken? <laughs> it's only taken probably about an hour or so. We get pretty much everybody involved when we can. I think it's important for, especially for the Urban Scouts, to have something like this close to home. Uh, gives them the opportunity to see what camping's all about, and the kids that don't get a chance to go out at camp as often get a chance to see what a traditional troop does. Basically, we have to get the log, put it up there, so we have to do a timber hitch on the log, throw the rope over, and pull it. Eat it. It's been quite a while since we've had an event of this scope and we've got so many great volunteers that have taken the time planning for this has been close to a year and you can see just by the, the attendance of everybody you know it's everybody's loving it having a great time. Many of us grew up with scouting and scouting has been in our country and our nation and you know in our communities for years and years and years and uh, uh, we at St. Chris uh, we're extended the opportunity to try and help out the Boy Scouts in this region in the city and uh, we, we think that's a wonderful opportunity and we leaped at the chance to help. Today we're helping uh, with this uh, encampment and we're teaching first aid and uh, trying to help them learn about uh, pedestrian safety, disaster management, basic first aid, CPR, hemorrhage control, all things that uh, young Scouts could use. Is that Hedgehog? How old is she? It's particularly important for uh, kids in the inner city, especially boys, uh, to have strong role models, an opportunity for leadership, an opportunity to get out and do things that are exciting and different and challenging. But really, the thing that gives me the most hope for scouting in the city is these Scout Reach Cub Scouts out here in the blue uniforms. They spend their whole scouting time basically at school because it's an after school program. They don't always get to see what Boy Scouts really do. And they're out here and their eyes are bugged out. They are like, oh my gosh, archery, oh my gosh, climbing, oh my gosh, building fires. So they're going to cross over into scouting and that's going to make scouting stronger. Hey, hey. For me, it's a draw to show them the attractions of what they can do, what scouting has to offer as far as growing in maturity, responsibility, and as a young man. They, they enjoy themselves, they got a chance to speak to Boy Scouts, which what they'll transition to after leaving the Cub Scouts. Bringing it here to Lighthouse here, to me it's basically a dream because everybody leaves the city. Lighthouse is opening up its doors for a lot of stuff in this community. I'm glad the Crater Liberty chose this place because it's giving back to this community. It's also bringing the outside in so they can see what scouting is about. The Boy Scouts of America is a tremendous vehicle to teach young men responsibility, accountability, to learn how to work with each other, um, and to motivate them to achieve success in their lives. So I'm here to support the Philadelphia encampment, to support uh, scouting um, and for kids just to have, be safe and to have fun. Scouting is family. Scouting is the creative liberty that what we have here in Philadelphia.